Here we are, day four, driving into Yosemite, and we're at Tunnel View. And this is stunning, I'll show you this. Very popular tourist spot. Just about everyone is stopping. Fantastic. Heading on, it's got another 20 minutes or so of drive, and then we'll be parking up and uh, stopping for three nights. All right, just walking from the reception to where we're actually stopping, and this is the view along the way. That's one big ass mountain. some pretty big trees as well some more of them sequoias um, we're stopping in these wood chalets shall we call them not the aspen block that you see in front. We're on the, in the next block of along. Just come back for a bottle of water from the car. I'll just show you. That's some more of the the mountains over there. And the sun. Well, this is the dogwood group of chalets. Those who were stopping in one of those don't know which one yet because uh, we're too early to register. Apart from the fact that we know that we're in one of those, we can't collect the, the key. So, that's a uh, late 20s to very perhaps 30 degrees C something like that it's half two is it 20 to three and cooking again right so he found something on blacksmith created his own gear and then started selling that gear which spawned off from his company his best friend started the company in the north face and the, the logo of the north face is actually a depiction of that on the driver's side, we are approaching Lighting Met Sentinel Road. Speaking of peaks on the passenger side, you can see three peaks sticking out through the trees. Those three peaks are known as the Three Brothers. The smaller one is known as the Lower Brothers, known as Middle Brother, and the top one is known as the Upper and Lower Cathedral Rock. And below that, this meadow is called Slaughterhouse Meadow. Nowadays, it's looking less and less like a meadow as the encircling forest is growing in on it. The meadow got its name in the early days of the, Yos of the Yosemite Park Service visitation, where it was pretty difficult to get meat up here on these mountain roads without its refrigeration. So instead, they brought cows and allowed them to graze in this meadow. And in this meadow was a slaughterhouse, and they processed those cows into meat. Hence the name. Face that we're looking at of El Capitan is the heart. It's called the heart basically because of its heart shape. Heart shape. El Capitan, yeah. Because of its size, it is one of the more popular rock climbing routes here uh, or rock climbing walls. People will ascend. Earlier today, Sam said he saw some climbers. You still see some? Oh, yeah, I see a few. So I'll point out the climbers and then I'll keep telling you about El Capitan. If you look to the right side of the heart, uh, a little more than halfway up, and follow it to the right, there's a long crease. If you look at that crease, about two-thirds of the way up the crease, there is some climbers. 
right on the crease the where there's the a shadow. And if you follow yeah. the crease up to the top, uh, and then mm -hmm. look just to, just to the left of that, you'll see another group of flags. From our perspective, they look like ants. It's kind of a, maybe they they have a, something white and baby blue, so the, the, the lighter blue color kind of stands side by side. And if you look up there, there's also a, a valley up there. Kind of U-shaped, but looking, you know, more V-shaped. It's more narrow at the bottom than it is at the top. And it's likely that at one point in time, this valley floor and that valley floor were at the same elevation. But the glaciers that were here in Yosemite Valley were a lot thicker and stronger and a, a larger force, creating this wide gap between this valley and that valley, creating what we call a hanging valley and this beautiful waterfall that we have here. Bridal Veil Fall gets its name uh, when it's flowing heavier in the spring. You can see now the wind catches it and it kind of fans out towards the bottom giving it the appearance of a bride's veil. Native Americans had a different name for this waterfall. They called it Mahono, which means evil spirit of the public wind. The Merced River, the lifeblood here, it's kind of low, and, uh, low now, but earlier this April, this river was flowing over this road. Uh, we had a flood. We do have floods here on occasion. But this river still is carving out this valley deeper and deeper. Here we are, this is the, uh, the valley floor tour. First stop. And this is looking up the valley floor. It's quite sunny in that. I think everyone's back on. I was last to take any sort of footage. Right, back to the two of us. Thank you. 